Um, I'm off today to see a rather spectacular corrie. Corrie, one of those enormous great big bowls that's gouged out of the, uh, the side of a hill by glaciers. And this one is highly regarded as being one of the finest in Scotland, the Corrie Vic Erche, I think it's called. Uh, and it has a very, very impressive triple buttress of enormous rocks leading up right at the back of Ben A, which is one of the big hills in Torridon, in Glen Torridon. Triple buttress, as it's known. One, two, three. As I was saying, this is probably regarded as one of the finest examples of a quarry in Scotland. There are other famous ones, there's ones like, uh, like Loch Nagar, Craig Meggy, and of course the northern, northern quarries in the Cairngorms. Um, most of them tend to be north facing or east facing because that's the aspect on a hill that doesn't get uh, the sun as much, or at least not the full power of the sun during summer or even during the winter months. And this is where the snow lingers longest um, at low altitudes. You can imagine if it was just a few degrees cooler on average, uh, which is probably all it would take for snow to remain at these sort of levels all year round. We do have snow packages that survive from year to year, but they tend to be up quite high. Um, and, and, but they're on aspects of the hill that don't get the sun either. But you can imagine if it's a few degrees cooler and snow starts to accumulate here, it doesn't melt during the summer, it doesn't get the sun, and it just compacts down very slowly and gets harder, then the next year more snow falls and then that compacts down on what was there before and slowly and slowly you just build up very very hard snow and eventually that turns into ice if you get enough snow falling. As more and more snow falls and the, and the snow doesn't melt each year and it gets thicker and thicker that enormous weight of ice pushes down on all of this imagine what's it one cubic meter of water weighs a ton or something you can imagine if this is just full of ice how much weight there is and it's forever sort of wanting to come down gravity's wanting to bring the ice down and all the while it's picking at the rocks that are behind the ice that you can't see it's, as it moves it's picking at them and taking them away and then melt water underneath the ice makes it lubricates it it's almost like having little ball bearings underneath underneath the glacier underneath the ice and that helps it roll down the hill as well. So gravity is pulling it down but it's also being lubricated from underneath and all the while it's falling down, pulling the rocks away from here, pulling the rocks away from here and before you know it you've got this enormous great big bowl where the ice has been carving it out and that's what all our quarries are in Scotland. They're all the remnants of glaciers that have been digging away at our hillsides over the thousands and thousands of years. But if ever our climate cools just by a few degrees. It's in places like this, in these quarries. It's places like this that we'll see ice form first. This is where this is where the glaciers would begin if we cooled just a few degrees and kept our snow each, each year.